I want to, regarding what we asked uh, Francisco, that uh, we saw in Arteta a very different type of uh, interview. He was asking for a lot of uh, um, support from the fans and sort of to help the team as they need that help. What does that give you for the, tomorrow's game? Not much, to be honest. I think that the 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 football that's part of football, the environments where there's a lot of passion and a lot of a lot of desire to help your team and your Arsenal and this is obviously Arsenal at, at their ground but we also have our fans obviously less less fans but still a lot more passion and a lot more desire to support us and then all the around, around after after the game or before the game and that that's not what plays it's that what plays are the players and the strategy we define as Francisco said the attitude is the, the plan that we have defined and that's what plays uh, the words are uh, sometimes when you're 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 you have called down uh, you say different things you should want to say those things but I don't give that much value when the the when you had to draw the Champions League a lot of people said that um, it was closed off and that the favoritism was given to Arsenal what type of mission do you have here tomorrow at the stadium and of course coming from a off a win we know it's a very it's a very hard task we can't forget that there's a we can't can't forget the difference between the teams between the two two leagues between the four big teams in Portugal but there's a lot more bigger teams here in the in the Premier League and the Arsenal is the second team with the most value and we are a team obviously with the less value but that that is what it is when the ball, ball starts rolling there's quality on both sides there's uh, staff which are very adequate uh, both benches are and we are we need to look to what our t what our team is observing what our opponent can do uh, with that a lot of quality that they have individually and collectively that's very very well drilled team and they know and they know all the moments of the game there's a lot of uh, aggression aggression there's a lot of pressure that arsenal does the the tactical layout is very, is very interesting it's very very well trained and there's a lot of individual individualities and any of the players and you were asking about Zinchenko was, was coming back any player part of the Arsenal squad is very strong we look at that with respect we don't look at it as if we're scared we're here to, dis to dispute the game you obviously hear that you may you're one of the best managers in the world regarding the um increase in the in the and how Francisco has grown how when players on the bench they obviously are not just seen as a bench player seen as more of a a new player that can come on of course there are various players there are is Nico Varela Evanelson uh, or Pepe Galeno of course their players are evolving and developing we know the quality that they have of course there are moments and moments that they'll go through when they go through um, a moment because they're not playing as many many games but they still work hard and they know what they have to do to be better players and the different position of course they play in and it's not easy because when you get opportunity to but you have to have continu continuity when you play and of course and have a positive response 
but in those difficult moments, and then, but then you reach that moment, and then you manage. And there's a lot of young players who have who have gone through the, through that, and have gone through that same process. You say, you say, Sergio, that the, play, the only ones that can actually reach what you're trying to achieve, is it easier for you to believe than Francisco to? Because he obviously trains with you, but he obviously he still connects with you outside. Is it harder for him to? Because he has to obviously hear it whilst at home. Is it, is it sometimes hear obviously he hears how difficult it is about, about training or, or games I don't want to hear I don't want to enter regarding the sort of personal elements I think it's unfair maybe another time we could we're worried about a different dynamic when Arsenal has the ball and doesn't have the ball and that's what's interesting at the moment Francisco is obviously part of the team and a, a young team. Uh, only Pep is that makes the changes the balance a bit. But we're one of the most youngest team of, of regarding average age in this phase of the in this phase of the Champions League. We have a young team with with quality, and it's great to represent such a historical team like Porto. Being at, in the stadium is is part of that development. That's what I say. But then the other side of the pressure, and they have to develop uh, winning. And we have to understand that that we understand the, the difference uh, reg regarding Arsenal. Arsenal have difficult games every every week. They're like Champions League games, the m the most valuable competitive uh, league in the world. And we understand that, and that's why I give a lot of value around behaviour. Is we obviously had the young players fit very well into the into the tactics, and they did a very good game against Arsenal. Tomorrow, that's not enough. Is a lot of different problems tomorrow. Arsenal will provoke us, and we have to anticipate that. And those problems that we may have, and and obviously, Arsenal will have to be more. Uh, would have obviously want to achieve more, but not for demerit of Arsenal, but a merit obviously of Porto. And tomorrow we have a very difficult test, but we're here to to go to fight. So as you say during the season. That these these teams study each other a lot, but Porto did surprise Arsenal. You already mentioned it at the end of the game around the set pieces. You didn't let Arsenal play where they typically like to play and like to have the ball. Is it still possible to surprise Arsenal after that first surprise, or is it a lot harder tomorrow? Each game has its story. Around the characters of Arsenal's team, I think that. In a situation, they could do something different, and we have to understand that's why we're paid to do to anticipate all these problems, and even during the game. And and in all games, we will make adjustments during at half time, and even during the actual game, the players are ready, but and they have to be ready for it, because because Gabriel Jesus playing up front or Havertz playing up front, it's very different. It does change something. Uh, Trossard or Martinelli playing left, it does change uh, change something, even if they have similar characteristics. But, uh, Jorginho playing in the midfield is, di is different than Rice playing a bit deeper. And Havertz and Odegaard playing in midfield. It changes the pen how the how they obviously start and understand what they they didn't do and 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 do in the in the home leg, and we have to be ready to give that response 
in a, give that response at a defensive level and show the team that we are, but obviously keep looking to, to, to achieve and score a goal. And we're here to score goals and to win the game. You, you're obviously discussing the problems around the, the issue that you already have. You gave a lot of the ball to Arsenal. You had a lot, you had a lot less ball than Arsenal, but you, aren't, you were able to stop Arsenal from uh, hitting the target. Do you predict a stronger offensive Arsenal and more ball than they had at Porto? I hear we're, we're talking about the strategic plan. I think that Arsenal, they did, they did shoot, but it just wasn't on target. They may want to get to, to the last third in a quicker way. That's a situation that, that will happen. They, in Porto, played, uh, played more supporting each other, but in a very far away from our goal, entering in the final third, or our defensive third, uh, as there's a lot of individual equality, we have to, we have to remove the team from that, from that area. Where Arsenal have a lot of st are very strong players, uh, one on ones or crosses or spaces where you normally wouldn't find them. But we have to be ready for that scenario and what we're going to do, and to to, to obviously stop what they would like to do and be well prepared. Porto is typically never happy in England. Uh, uh, they don't have to win. A draw is enough to go through. Uh, you, Sergio, have have played here various times with against strong teams, such as Liverpool and City. Why do you think Porto has such more dif more difficulties playing here in England? Is it that the rhythm is a lot higher, and is an opportunity here tomorrow to change that? The games are all very different. What I just what I just said. It's a team that's at the best league in the world, and they're used to an intensity and a level that's a lot higher than a lot higher than, than the rest of Europe, and we understand that we're all always very competitive, and tomorrow will definitely be competitive. Yeah. I remember the game at City. We were winning one nil. We could have done two nil. The big, big city of Pep Guardiola. And then there was a penalty, and it, and it it was what it was, and the game changed. So the games all have different stories. Tomorrow, new, new difficulties will will appear. We have to look at the opponents, and what we have to look at what we can do and what we can't do. Very focused with respect as well, but not scared because it's it's eleven players from Porto who have who are who are quality who are very, have a lot of quality but also five players who come off the bench. And we're very confident that we can do a big game.